Did you know the average ransomware attack or data breach costs more than $4.5 million to resolve? For most small businesses, this would immediately put them out of business, a very scary prospect. And as the former CIO for $4 billion organizations, I'm often approached by small business owners who have questions about which IT products are going to be the best fit for closing their cybersecurity gaps. And even with my 25 years of experience, that's a very difficult question for me to answer because of the very crowded marketplace of IT products, which is why I developed Florent. Currently, there are more than 30,000 IT products for the 32 million small businesses in the United States to choose from. This is incredibly intimidating for most because they can't afford to hire a chief information officer like myself. And typically, they don't have the expertise or awareness to be able to make those decisions effectively themselves. And this becomes even more urgent when you consider that last year alone, there were more than 236 million ransomware attacks. To help combat this gap, we've developed Florent, which is a web and mobile app. The way Florent works is by allowing registered companies to then connect with registered IT experts who are able to effectively deliver IT services. And the way it works is by leveraging artificial intelligence to make informed decisions about which IT products are going to be the best fit for closing those gaps. Transactions are then securely transacted through the Florent marketplace and payment for those services, the IT products and services, are then held securely in escrow until both parties say the transaction has been successfully completed. After the transaction is completed, both are ranked um, in terms of the products and services, and those ratings are turned into a Florent score that's available for later transactions. And the same IT experts also have the ability to gain additional revenue by endorsing the top-ranked products um, on social media platforms for brand awareness purposes. The global market for IT products and services is, is huge. It's growing. Initially, though, we're only focused on the U.S. market. So we're targeting about 1% or $87 million and looking to increase later. So there are research products that do make recommendations in terms of the top IT products, services like Gartner and Forrester, but those tend to be cost prohibitive for small and medium-sized companies. There are also platforms that do link brands with influencers that are looking to increase brand awareness, but really no platform that connects, uh, that leverages LinkedIn and connects with IT experts for the purposes of increasing awareness. Um, so we have chosen LinkedIn because most IT experts have profiles on that platform, and we've chosen technology because technology is one of the industries that spends the most on marketing. In addition to that, we're leveraging the concept of crowdsourcing to make informed decisions about the products that are the best fit, and this is based on projects completed and successful rankings. So we have achieved significant traction to date. And this comes by way of five commitments from small businesses to serve as our beta users and to help to really flush out bugs in the system and to make recommendations about features and enhancements. In addition to that, we've signed up five IT managed services providers who were serving as the initial IT experts on the Florent platform. And this is securely hosted in the Microsoft Azure cloud. So we're very proud of our experienced team. It's a team that is poised to take us to the next level in that they have completed six, success, six successful exits and raised more than $100 million to date. So we do believe that this is going to lead to Florence's success. Initially in 2023, we're forecasting that we're going to achieve $2.5 million in revenue, and this is based on subscription and transaction fees. We forecast that this is going to increase to $10 million in 2024 by expanding across the nation and increase to 50 million in 2025 by expanding globally. To achieve this, we're asking for $2 million and that will cover um, some of our sales and marketing needs and additional product enhancement in terms of features and functions. Um, in addition, we're also looking to focus on our internal operations and uh, boosting that as well. And of this total, we've raised 352,000 today. Thank you for your attention. I look forward to discussing Florin and the future of technology product awareness in our breakout.